Hello again YouTube and today we are playing Sail Simulator 5. Uh, this is a sailing simulator I've been playing for a few years now. Uh, it's mainly only multiplayer. There's a lot of people from all over the world as you can see I'm sailing into some of them over here. Uh, Doug from Canada. Typical Canadian name. But uh, <laughs> anyway, you can sail uh, a lot of different boats. They even got the, uh, the Volvo Ocean Racing boats in here which are a lot of fun to, to race and there's long distance races and there's weekly events and you can win prizes and everything on this game and uh... we're, we're in a laser right now we're just starting starting to get ready for a race just a simple race um, i won the last race because you can see up here on our map my tracking and the red lines all the tracking that we did on our race it's a triangle and then we have a windward leeward so not too difficult of a race. But let's see here. We got the countdown for the race starting in about a minute, so we'll just sail around the start line start line area here. Yeah, for a simulator, uh Sail Simulator 5 is a pretty realistic game. Now there it's made by uh Stentech Corporation, which makes GPS systems and radio systems for uh, mostly cruising sailboats like the you know big 40 50 footers that cruise around the world so it's as realistic as they could make it but not being you know not coming from a gaming company itself it's it's not a hundred percent correct <laughs> there are certain things that happen uh, most of them are glitches that are in no way realistic the physics aren't realistic to what a real sailboat can do as in you know, the big one is haul speeds, true haul speeds. I can take a 36 foot uh, cruising yacht in this game and get it up to about 30 knots of speed sometimes, which is pretty much impossible. So <laughs> There's little gl uh, glitches that happen like that once in a while in this game. So here's our, our starting sequence. To start, we have the start of the race starting in a minute. Now I want to start on this side, heading at the line on starboard, so I have right away on anybody coming over on a port. So I'm going to get up here a little bit more. We have 36 seconds for the, until the start. I'm going to get over here, tack over here, get out of this guy's way. And I want to double check to make sure I got my sail trim the right way, my out holes right, the boom vang's down a little bit. We got 20 seconds. I'm going to tack over. Here we go. Try to avoid this guy. Now what I don't like here, he's, he's going to wind me here. He's going to take away my wind as I'm trying to get up to this line. And all these guys are being jerks right now. <laughs> Get out of the fucking way! <laughs> this is where all the yelling happens. Three seconds. I'm actually having a pretty good start here. There we go. Now we can harden up. You can see our windward mark out here. Not really to windward. I mean, the wind's coming out of the uh, our northeast here. Now the next leg, right after we round this this windward mark, is going to be a dead downwind. I'm not sure how I'm going to tackle that. I got to see, try to see how the guys behind me. I'm in first place by a long shot right now, but try to see how they tackle it. I mean, you can just let the sail all the way out, release the boom vang, and go straight downwind. There, sometimes it pays off to jive back and forth a couple times. You get, you know, sometimes you get higher haul speeds. Um, I think I'm going to do that. I'm, I think I'm going to jive back and forth once I round this windward mark. Because I do, you know, I did. I went down or dead downwind in the last race, and I actually lost first place and had to fight it back. So we're going to take a risk and see what happens. So coming up to this mark now, I'm going to release my boom vang, get the sail ready for going downwind. And I think I'm going to head straight due west here. I'm not sure what the other guys. The other guys are probably going to come straight down this line, unless they're going. No, they're going to follow me. Okay. As you can see, da, 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 we have to get to this other mark over here, and that's what I was seeing. I mean, I was doing about seven, seven and a half knots, jiving back and forth. This guy's coming on the inside of me now. That's the problem. And when I was going dead downwind, I was only getting about six knots. So you get a a knot difference. I, I hope it makes a di you know, I hope it makes the difference in the end. But we'll see. 
it, like I said, I've been playing this game for quite a while. I mean, it's just something fun to do you know, in the winter time when the boat's up on on the cradles and you miss sailing. You come to your video game, <laughs> and it's you know it's fun because it's not just a simulator. It's a big multiplayer um, situation where you can race against all these guys from around the world. And especially, like I said, the the having the Volvo Ocean racing boats in there, you know, the big uh, seventy footers with the canting keels and all these adjustments you can do with like you know twelve crew members and all that. Let's jibe here, pull our sail over. No, I think I actually lost first place again here. He went dead downwind, so I get higher haul speeds, but it doesn't pay off in the end. I guess I wanted to test that out, and it was a risk, but I had to see it and he's barely gotten in front of me and he's not that good I beat this guy in the last uh, race we did he's not that good upwind so I'm gonna try and let me tighten my boom vang up here again for going upwind everything's trimmed in the right way I see if I can catch this guy on the next few legs we're gonna get winded by this island here in this section we're not gonna have any wind there it's gonna be pretty much a law but anyway, like I was saying, you know, sailing with the Volvo Ocean Racing, you know, the Open 70s, is a lot of fun in this game. I mean, it, this is very simple, sailing a laser here. And I grew up sailing, in real life, actually, boats like this. Um, so, this isn't a lot of fun, but the Volvo Ocean Racing boats and some of the larger cruising boats that this game has, that's when it's a lot of fun. The race against, you know, 10, 12 guys that are high octane some of them ignore the rules because it's a you know it's a, they treat it like a video game instead of actually following the rules and they'll come over on a port tack and you're on a starboard tack and they'll just slam right into you so there's a lot of heated tension <laughs> and there's a lot of uh, pressure sometimes you know and that's what makes it fun is uh you know there's some you can make your own race courses basically everything on here is you make your own race course on certain maps and you upload them onto the uh, server and then people can join in and you can race against them and try to get the best times. So when you have, uh, you know, we simulated the Sydney the Harbor race on this with the Volvo Open 70s. That was a lot of fun. Very long race. A lot of heavy winds, a lot of big waves. And uh, let me tack over here. That guy's going way too far out. See if he made a mistake there. Yeah, I mean, this game only has like five or six maps, but you can do so much. They're so large that you can do so much with the, uh, with putting a lot of different style race courses on them, and you can build, like I said, you can build your own, so it's pretty much limitless on what you can achieve. And there's there's a ranking system too. And the Volvo Open 70s. I'm going to try and take some videos later when there's more people on racing those boats. There's really, you know, not too many people racing those boats right now. There's, I mean, the people that play this game are mostly European. Um, I'm one of the few Americans in the game, and I'm actually one of the top ranked sailors in the game. So, uh, jive, damn it! I had a little rough jive there. Sorry. Too much talking and not preparing. <laughs> like, you get a ranking system in this class. I am the 55th ranked person in the world in this class, so you can see I'm the best ranked player for this boat class that's racing right now. And that is translating to this race because I'm in the lead by a pretty good distance right now. Well, actually, he's right next to me. Well, we'll, we'll get him. Get out of here, dog. Canadians are going to ruin it. Yeah, now I'm making up ground on him. He, and like I said, this is the same guy that's not that good upwind. He made that, that tactical error there going out too far. Now we're going to head up to the finish line. I gotta, you got to head out pretty far this way to get up to the finish line when you tack over here. So. Yeah, as far as that ranking system, like I said, I'm 55th ranked person in the world in this racing class, the uh, Lasers. And if you go over to the Volvo Open 70s, which, like I said, is my favorite boat to race in this game, um, I think I'm like 30th right now, or maybe even less. I might be in the 20s. I'm not sure. 
But that's a very, very competitive racing class, and there's a lot of guys in that group that are really, really skilled sailors in real life and also in this game. So you learn a lot from them, and you make your mistakes, and you move on, and sometimes you beat them, and sometimes you, you come in just behind them. So. Yeah, I got this guy. <laughs> so we're going to win this race. Well, I don't want to speak too soon. I could make a mistake, but really, it's there's no waves. It's a straight shot to the finish line right here. Now, I've been wanting to upload a video of myself playing this for a while now, and there hasn't been too many people online today until you know now, but they're in they're on this... Uh, you know, the laser class here. So I thought I'd take this video and uh, see if you guys liked it. Um, like I said, I'm going to make some more videos with the uh, using the Volvo Open 70s instead because that's where the action's at. I mean, that's where we had some big, you know, high winds, big waves. You got 12 crew members you got to control. You got the canting keels, all these different sail adjustments and different sails you can use. That's where the fun's at. So, And across the finish line. Boom, we win. And, yeah, there's nobody ranked lower than me, so of course I should win, but, okay. Doug did surprisingly bad. Well, anyway, this was uh, me doing a little race in the laser against some other guys. <laughs> uh, race, yeah, I'll take another video, hopefully soon, racing the uh, Volvo Open 70. This guy, he can't believe how good I am. I mean, last time he's like, incredible, and now he's like, I can't believe, well done. It's like, come on, suck it, dude. <laughs> are you really that bad? I mean, I don't know. I don't, I've never raced against this guy before, but seriously, are you really that bad? <laughs> anyway, yeah. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, like I said, I'll get some more up here playing some sales simulator, and uh, thanks for watching.